All right, Rain Rock County citizens are joining together to save an historic downtown Janesville building. Now, the group's called the Friends of Franklin Street Service Center, and the hope is to turn a 1930s gas station into a museum. Here's Valina Jones with their story. Well, thanks for your support. Yeah, well, it's nice yeah, to yeah. talk to a yeah. car enthusiast. Tom Skinner owns a 1937 Chevrolet made at the old GM plant in Janesville. Over the years, he's seen the city change, but says there's one thing that should remain the same. This is a car town. General Motors has been here and Samson Tractor long before that. And we want to highlight and showcase uh, the history of transportation in this city. Skinner, along with other city residents, are joining together to save a former 1930s gas station from being torn down. Instead, residents are asking the city to allow them to restore the building and turn it into a classic car museum. I think this has a real good chance of bringing people to the downtown area. We've, we've lost so many historic buildings and this is one of the few remaining historic gas stations in the city and it would be a shame to see this disappear. Located right behind the Janesville Police Department, the city had plans to use the space to expand headquarters. Instead, council agreed Monday to give the group until the end of the year to come up with a financial plan to save the building. We've been trying to save this building for many years and we haven't had many proposals come forward to save it city had decided that if we didn't have any, we should remove blight from our downtown. The city estimates the property needs $90,000 of repairs just on the roof alone and another $250,000 to renovate the property. However, group members are looking to cut major costs. We would get uh, bids that would be much more competitive and we would rely on a lot of local free labor. Skinner estimates the whole project could be done for around $50,000. With only four months into the end of the year, he says the group is sure to have a plan the city will approve of. We're quite hopeful that this will be a, a project that that is a full go and will be one of the highlights to the downtown area here in Janesville. Again, that was Valina Jones reporting. If council approves the group's proposal at the end of the year, they would have another eight months to come up with a down payment to pay for the project. The city also gave the group an option to move the building to a different location, which could cost more than $100,000.